This is Witchbase News for Friday the 26th of June 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...Frontier confirmed there's a patch incoming for the game next week ...the East India Company makes some significant changes to their offering ...and there's a carrier visiting every sector of the galaxy. If you enjoy this video consider subscribing and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. That stuff really helps us smaller channels. Frontier hosted their regular Thursday night livestream last night which has continued despite the lockdown period with the various teams at Frontier all working from home. On the livestream new lead community manager Arthur Tolmy introduced himself to the community and gave a little of his gaming background which includes a lot of Elite Dangerous on Xbox as well as first person shooters like Halo. As well as being a fan of properties like Star Wars and Star Trek Arthur is also a huge Warhammer fan ...this coupled with Arthurs significant community management experience adds yet another strong team member to the expanding team at Frontier supporting the game. In other Frontier news ...whilst the launch of carriers into the game generally appears to have been a huge success ...it has come with its fair share of bugs and glitches. There's a couple of exploits doing the rounds at the moment that need sealing up ...annoyingly carriers don't hold on to their paint job when you've applied it and on occasions passengers on a carrier are getting left behind when the carrier jumps to name but a few. Whilst we don't yet know what issues specifically will be addressed in the next patch ...Steven Benedetti did confirm on last nights stream that the current plan is to introduce a new patch into the game next week. It's likely we'll get the patch notes early next week with the patch dropping into the game very shortly afterwards. The player group the East India Company announced this week that they're making some changes to the services they offer. If you're unfamiliar with the East India Company they're a trading organisation that operates in a similar fashion to the fuel rats or the hull seals but instead of dealing in fuel or repairs they instead trade commodities that you might need to use to unlock engineers etc. Up until the release of carriers without having commanders across all platforms the East India Company were unable to offer their services to the consoles ...focusing instead on the PC. However fleet carriers brought with them two important features ...a player owned commodity market and the ability to span all platforms at the same time regardless of who the owner is. Also with immediate effect the East India Company will no longer accept Imperial slaves as payment for their services ...instead now preferring the galaxy's new darling commodity of Tritium for the services rendered. They even now have a limited service in Colonia to assist with unlocking two engineers there. To avail yourself of all that the EIC has to offer see the links in the description below. And finally Commander Piso Duroria announced on the Frontier forums that they've challenged themselves to take their carrier to every single sector of the galaxy. Whilst not the only and certainly not the last commander to undertake something like this in a carrier I was particularly struck by the route map that the good commander is planning on using and the fact that they're also exploring to a degree when they reach each sector rather than tagging and moving on. To follow the journey see the forum link below. That's it for now thanks very much for watching ...we'll be back later this week with more videos until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.